Cratchit, come in. Is that Captain Quark? Clank? Well, I'll be Scrunch's uncle. Where'd you come from? There's no time to explain. We need to stop Nefarious from reaching the clock. We're on our way to the station now, but you have to find a way to stall him. Way ahead of you, Ratchet. In fact, I'm further undercover than I've ever been before. Ever. In fact, when we get home, let's never talk about this again. Asteroid inside the main perimeter. Come meet me as soon as you can. I have triangulated Captain Cork's position. Sinking to your nav unit now. <laughs> The rift inducer 5000 was created to fill the death by interdimensional being niche. The being named Fred by our engineers enjoys moonlight strolls along the beach, reading and mauling unsuspecting enemies with brutal efficiency. Whoa, look at that. Fred must be hungry. The rift inducer 5000, available only at Grummelnet. <laughs> Look who it is! Welcome back!
Welcome back, little guy. Am I glad you were here? You know who was a terrible sidekick. Some people just don't take our line of work seriously. Hey, I'm not the one sitting on the sidelines while everyone else marches into certain death. Sit on the sidelines? And let this baby go to waste? It's one of those cool smoke bombs the spies use. You know, for making quick and fancy getaways. Oh, forget it. Here, it's my most ingenious foolproof plan yet. The Nefarious Space Station. An impenetrable fortress fraught with danger and... Uh, windows. Using my feminine wiles, I was able to convince the custodial staff to temporarily reroute the South Wing trash chute. This will be our point of entry. With the motion sensors deactivated, we should have smooth sailing into the South Wing. Harnessing eight years of high school theater workshops, I will remain undercover as the lovely Shannon. My objective will be to escort you here. Whoops. <laughs> That's a vacation picture from the Maktar Resort Single Mingle. Don't know how that got in there. I'll escort you here, to a conveniently exposed thermal exhaust port. We will then endure rigorous calisthenics until we have lost enough body fat to squeeze through the port. Maybe I should handle this part of the mission. Uh, sure, that sounds quicker. Now, that port leads directly to Nefarious's personal quarters. Using the gigamorphic holoray, you'll be able to scan him and create a holographic disguise for Ratchet. With the disguise engaged, we should be able to breeze past the guards and infiltrate Mission Control, where we'll use the main security terminal to atomize every dock ship in the fleet. With Nefarious trapped like a rat and the clock safe, we can contact galactic authorities so that I may bask in the awesome glow of their admiration. All right, I have to ask, what's with the nurse's outfit? Ingenious, isn't it? It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancied myself a winter. Here we are. The final showdown between good and evil. Can you smell that? That's drama, baby. I smell something, and it's definitely not drama. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we're not being squished to death by the pistons. Search compactors initiated. Prepare to be compacted. Cover me! I'm about to do something impressive. Muscles aching, arms burning, calves looking good. Blockage detected in trash compactor 714. Shutting down. Compactor. That's it. Did you hear that? I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Technology. I just made you fight. That one was a little too close. The troopers will be here any moment. We need to keep moving. Mr. Zircon is going to kill you. The maintenance sector is crawling with Nefarious's goons. This might call for a little finesse. Watch and learn. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Dr. Archibald von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern, Gundolf Metal Sprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon.
Warning. Squishies detected in maintenance sector. All units converge and destroy.
leave the hollow guys to access it. and retire Lord Vorsala. Number two, re-establish vendetta against organic life forms. And number three, iron socks. Hollow guys complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Hmm. Huh. Must have forgot to tune the auto scaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test, test. It works! Now, let's finish this and go home. Lawrence! Yes, sir. Take him away! Scram, you morons! Yes, sir. How may I be of assistance? The search for Ratchet has our armada stretched thin. But we do have a small fleet on the outer perimeter. They should arrive just as soon as they've completed their patrol, sir. I'm afraid not, sir. All attempts to contact your lady friend have been unsuccessful. Perhaps she thought about marrying you and decided to make a run for it. Right away, sir. Time for phase three. When we get to the hub, I'll distract the guards while you gain access to the Hypernova defense laser. Got it. How do I do that? I'm not a hundred percent on that one, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Just remember, keep it on the low, low. Avert your eyes from the Exalted One. Nothing to see here. Where are you, Lawrence? Yes, sir, you rang. Yes, sir. How may I be of assistance? Dance, you fools! I order you to boggy! Scram, you morons! Scram, you morons! Annihilate him! Take him to the brink! Take him away! Take him away! Take him to the break! Annihilate him! Oh, I am Dr. Nefarious. Annihilate him! Tell my wife and kids I love them. Annihilate him! Dr. Nefarious, how could you? Laura! Yes, sir, you rang. I really am quite busy, sir. What do you need? I'm conducting an omni-scan of the Orvis chamber, sir. I must say, the machinery here is quite advanced. Compared to the malfunctioning bucket of bolts I am accustomed to dealing with. Oh, I'm afraid a fleet landing would be impossible at the moment. What with all the big, scary rocks in the way? You do remember asteroids, don't you, sir? 
Perhaps there is a way to clear the land. Dr. Nefarious! You didn't have to come all the way over here. The Hypernova Defense Laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. Say, would you like to test it out? The controls are yours, sir. Only a few asteroids remain, sir. Would you like to join? before the fleet can initiate landing protocols. very close to you right now. Come on, we gotta keep moving. I may need a little backup. say this results in catastrophe, but what the hey? Mission accomplished! You're not Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is! And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate Super Wavy Flashback Effect! Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure. Then, one day, 
fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing, the great clock! With the clock under my control, I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed! Until finally, a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose! <laughs> Hang on, cadets! Well, that was five bolts wasted. How do you like my Asteroid Flinger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake! Time will tell! Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> Just a lonely man, Lance. Boarding a lonely train on its way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard to Lonely Town. Choo-choo, Janice. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs>